Hello everyone, Don Gianetti, Lighting-Essentials.com and Project52ProSystem.com. Uh, this is the uh, third assignment for the, uh, the, the uh, great 2020 coronavirus shut-in workshop, which is free. The link is below in the uh, description. Anyone can take the class. We've already had two assignments. This is number three. It's Saturday or I'm sorry, it's Sunday, what is it today? March 29th, Saturday, Sunday, March 29th. I, I don't even remember what day it is anymore. Uh, and we are putting up this third assignment, and it's on tools and power tools. So first up here, we have a shot by Ann Stevenson, and it's a really, really lovely shot. There's so much to like about this picture. Notice the highlights that define the tube really well. Also, all these little design elements, these little edges in here. You know, somebody designed this tool and they are very proud of those edges and lines. Otherwise, it's just a pipe. But they did cool things to make it look good, to make it work better, maybe to focus the air more. Whatever they did, they're very proud of them. We as photographers must show that work. We have to show all the little lines, these little guys right here. This is part of the design. We don't hide it, we bring it out. Uh, designers are our brethren. They design, we photograph. And uh, we wanna make them proud of the units that we photograph by making them uh, realize how important all their design is here. So it's just a lovely, lovely shot. Here's how Anne did it. So you see she's got um, a big softbox up here, Ellen Chrome, Ellen Chrome 4x4 four uh, four, uh, over here. I guess that's prob these are probably like 32 or 40 inch square softboxes. Um, some nice power here. She's got a snoot here with a blue gel coming right down this this angle. We're going to go back and look at the picture in just a second, but coming right down this angle. She's got a um, white card for the underside of the blower. I think she could have pushed it back a little farther, but that's me being really picky. And a large white fill card to the side here. So all of this is lighting this fill card, lighting this card up, we're getting absolute reflection from the soft box up top. We're getting reflection from the white card in here, and it's just delightful. Let's go back and look at the shot. You can, oh, there's the blue right there. Isn't that nice? Just a tiny, tiny little bit of blue to pop that sparkle. Beautifully done. This is John McAllister's uh, drill, and uh, McAllister's a really talented photographer. Uh, I should ba basically, Anne, uh, I'll also say Anne Stevenson's a wonderful photographer. She's in Denver now. John McAllister is over in the UK and uh, available for assignments at solutionary.co. Um, beautiful lighting on this. John did a terrific job. He is a master at light. Look at, look at the tightly controlled uh, reflections on this chrome cap here. Then of course we get to the non-shiny. This is a kind of, well it's partially shiny. It's sort of efficient. Efficiency is the word that we use to describe um, how shiny something is. So it's sort of efficient right in here and in here. We've got some nice highlights here but we have very very soft fall off. That soft fall off tells us that this this um, surface has a little bit of a tooth to it because if it was a real shiny, if it was glossy like like uh, enamel paint, we would have sharp edges here between the specular and the true value of the unit. Right now we have very soft, gradual, specular to true value, so we're pretty okay. How did John do this shot? Well, he hung it up with strings and hid them in Photoshop and then brought in a couple of very, very um, powerful uh, soft boxes to each side 
and then augmented them with a couple, just a little bit of snoots. This snoot over here, no, I'm sorry, this is a grid, not a snoot. This grid, and that um, that is a uh, Fresnel over here. So he's just snagging a little bit of this with those two lights. Let's go back and look at it. So he just snags it a little bit with that that uh, um, grid and the Fresnel coming in here. So it's really, really nice. Sean McAllister in the UK. Dan Evans here in the States. Dan shot a, a Ryobi. Uh, he didn't go out and get a brand new one. He used uh, the one around the shop, and that's fine for this class. It's a learning class, so um, that's the idea of it. Beautiful light across the top of the unit right there. Nothing is lost in here, and that's really, really important because, again, we're talking about the designers. They designed all this stuff. They designed these little things here. They're, they're there to look good. They're there to, to, to um, get rid of heat, maybe. Whatever it is, they're designed by a designer. If we want them to be happy with what we do, we need to show what they've done. It's really, really important. I can't stress it enough. Um, how did uh, Dan get this shot? Well, we got uh, uh, some old Speedatron here. And he's bouncing it into, uh, there we go, he's coming through this and he's bouncing it into some lights that are up above this, this unit. Also got a big light to the side here. So you can see how it worked up. We got a top light, a, a light from the side, which you saw, and a light from this side. All in the, in the mix there. Really nice, Dan Evans. Carla McMahon is in South Africa and has done a beautiful job with this this Black & Decker drill. Look at how gorgeous the light is here. We got a little bitty super shiny specular and that tells us that this is glossy down here. We see the gloss again there with the sharp transition from the highlight, which is a specular. A, a, that is a uh, absolute reflection of the light source. There's another one over here to the true value of the the black plastic. Uh, up here, got a little bit of a soft transition, so we know that there's a little bit of tooth to this surface. Beautifully lit all the way through here. We see every little bit of design. It's just really, really well done. Uh, how did Carla do it? Well, just like this. She got her shot by uh, using two CTO gels on a speed light, hitting the gray paper behind. Uh, an 8200 coming through a scrim from the top and a strip box to this side. There's a scrim on this side with a, a 400 watt second light behind it, but very close to the scrim. So we get an even light, a light with a lot of fall off, a light with some fall off. Notice how much smaller that unit is. So we've got some different shaped lights. Let's go back and look at Carla's image. And it's just, just so delicately lit, it's just so beautifully done. She extended out the orange in the front uh, in Photoshop, and we ended up with a really great product shot. Graham Kite has some woodworking tools here. As you can see, Graham is shooting straight down here. Look at the incredibly beautiful light. Isn't this just gorgeous? It's stunning. It really is. Um, we get to see the shape of these chisels. We get to see the, the shiny wood here. Every, every little bit of detail in the handles is preserved super well with the light. And Graham shot it with a uh, softbox to the back so this is a, a hard edge softbox and then a light through a uh, scrim to the front this white card bouncing some light back uh, the scrim gives us a hotter spot in the middle than on the edges where the softbox is even from corner to corner um, I, I, uh, I said in the first class I prefer scrims, but when you do it as well as Graham is doing it here, um, do whatever you want to do, because Graham is using that B 
big soft light back there to real advantage. It's just beautifully done. And then he's got this little guy right here popping a little tiny little flash, popping a little flash in from the back there. Let's see what it's doing there. Isn't that great? Just a little bit there. I'm sure he's got a light on this coming from somewhere, but I don't see it in his in his illustration. We can see the the light right there. So here's five shots. You can see how the photographers did them. We've got Graham Kite's shot. Graham is in Australia. Beautiful lighting, simple. Carla McMahon from South Africa doing a really nice shot with this drill. Dan Evans, USA. Doing a great job. Look at that 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 shot really pretty much rocks, doesn't it? Uh, John McAllister from the UK. Makes a beautiful shot. And Ann Stevenson from Colorado, USA. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Well, thanks everybody. I hope you're enjoying this, uh, this product shoot and uh, I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Take care.